The Knightsbridge Barracks of the Household Cavalry is the home for many of the men and horses who perform the ceremonial duties that help draw millions of visitors to London. Today, seven horses are dead, waiting for police forensic experts to examine them. In the stables are nine more animals whose injuries, similar to those of their riders, show the horror of the nail bomb. The worst case is Sefton, who performed at the royal wedding. A vet described the injuries. Starting from the head, burns and scorches all up the side of the face, um, burn to the eye, lacerations on the face, which were nail wounds, penetrating wounds from both the points and the head of nails. Did you actually pull nails out of those wounds? Out of all the wounds you can see on the face, yes. Um, laceration on the the jugular groove here on the neck is a piece of shrapnel about two inches by an inch, um, which has severed both the vein and the artery. Um, That's the jugular vein? That was the jugular vein was severed and it lost a considerable amount of blood from that, yes. Working back, various penetrating wounds from nails or bits of shrapnel. Um, there's a large penetrating wound here on the stifle, which goes deeply back into musculature. They look pretty awful, these wounds. Do you think the horse is going to survive? The horse has suffered a lot of shock. It's lost a lot of blood. Um, whether there's going to be permanent lameness once, once the lesions have healed, especially in this region around the stifle, I can't say yet. Is the horse tranquilized at the moment? No, it isn't. That is quite purely from shock and um, loss of blood today. Thank you. Sefton, who had five nails removed from his face after the explosion, is well on his way to recovery in the sick bay. In all, 38 nails hit him, but now, once again, he's feeding. Eating well, drinking, quite normal, still very stiff, obviously. Is he managing to eat some of the presents people are sending in? Yes, he's had some of all of them. The pitiful sight of the horses has touched the nation and enraged one American who was formerly a sergeant major with the household cavalry. I'm returning to the United States tomorrow, or Sunday. And I particularly wanted to hand out on the steps of the Congress of the United States 500 pictures of these horses, these enemies of the IRA, the explosives which are being produced, or not produced, uh, correction, which are being supported financially by northeastern United States. Now, the people of the United States love horses. This is war. This is a catastrophe.